everybody, this is Maniac for Toys. Oh buddy, do we have something for you today. This is the Zombie Strike version of the Rip Shot, released in 2014. Originally came with three Vortex discs, and it released at about $10 in the United States. This is probably one of the smallest of any Vortex blaster, and strangely only confined to the Zombie Strike series, definitely with the aesthetics of it. But I don't think it's really the best of like the small hand kind of like, you know, quick draw kind of Vortex blasters out there. There's a handful of them that have ever existed, and this one being the smallest is not really the best in my opinion. You see, this one has kind of a tight grip onto it where it has this hand guard along the bottom and for some people might be uncomfortable trying to squeeze all your fingers in there. This is just enough for me, but it can be a little weary over time, I can imagine, especially the distance here between the trigger and the rest of the grip, trying to fit in there and make it useful. You can hold three darts underneath it, or three discs, I should say, underneath it, but they only give you three, so I guess, you know, it's just enough, but technically you could have four of this thing the whole time if you load one in here and then you have three extras. So, I find that a little odd, but passable. And this has an interesting system that I haven't seen really from a lot of other uh, Vortex Blasters since, or even around this time. You load one inside of here until it clicks back. You'll kind of hear a click in there. Then you have this part on the top. Don't move this. I made that mistake during my testing procedures. You're supposed to move the entire thing back, but this should be in the back position. If I'm understanding it correctly, it kind of feels like you have to move this in a little bit more, which may or may not pinch your fingers. And then you should be able to lift this all the way back and it should be primed, you know, not gonna fall out the disc, it's all in place. And then you could actually fire it. It's something that even in my testing procedure you might see right here, it's been hard for me to really figure it out. I, it took me several sh shots, several tries with it to really figure this thing out. And one of the weirdest things with it is that you have to shove all of that mechanism for priming it all the way back before loading the next disc in. That's something I found a little odd because normally in any other blaster it would lunge back on its own. It would kind of be part of the force of moving it back. That little trigger on the top is supposed to be an end jamming button so that if you get a, a disc stuck in there for some reason you would have this already moved back but you would you would push this forward to get the disc back out. So that's something you want to keep in mind when trying to use this thing. And also it has a very weird spring to it. It's not like other um, Vortex Blasters where they have a torsion spring and it's a little more smooth than that method. This one, the spring always makes me feel like it's going to break. I don't know if it ever will, but I don't want to take too many chances with it. It's a very weird blaster compared to other ones from Vortex, which is already kind of a hit or miss thing with Nerf fans. Uh, this was a blaster that I basically got as like, oh, it's the cheapest one. It's the lowest and smallest of the Vortex line. It shouldn't be so bad, right? Well, I think there's better and not even that much more expensive in order to get much better performance of this. I'm not even talking about in a, in a competitive sense, but even for casual play, it's kind of cumbersome. So it's something I wouldn't personally recommend picking up. It's discontinued as of recording this review, but it may turn up in Goodwill or some other places in the black market and whatnot. It's one I would personally pass up if I didn't already... Um, look for it, you know? So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If there's anything else you'd like to learn about the rip shot, let me know in the comments below and I will respond down there. If you have a request for a certain Nerf Blaster, leave it in the comments as well. And uh, leave a like so we can keep this series going of reviewing Nerf Blasters. We'll see you next time with more Nerf reviews.